imaging is, is really diversified and ultrasound I mean, well, primarily is widened and it's, it's, it's application and it's also in line investigation things you can do with ultrasound now you could dream about five, ten years ago, which is a very short period of time to see such innovation. And the other thing is it's not an innovation which is restricted to a very small group of academics. This is nationwide, worldwide, very inexpensive equipment. Good backup with electronic copies of the art, you know, the discs, the various books and puzzles. Access to the doctor in peripheral or overseas is much, much easier. They can get high tech information, they can see the images and download them and present them in their own, their own uh, institution. It brings it, to, it brings it from the investigator onto the desktop, your, your desktop or my desktop. And you can see, and the one thing that uh, is rather sad in some regards is that the books. Uh, things of the past, in a way. Things that uh, nobody wants to buy books, they're on the whole quite expensive. They're a selected audience, but they do have it as it is. The CD is worth paying for in Spain, provided there's no, no restriction on what, what you can do with it. Companion or doctor, or Catherine has got imaging and heart failure, multimodal imaging. And the heart failure, she's got a very large presence in five million people in this country, and then 30, 30 odd million worldwide. You can get some simple imaging, diagnostic imaging, imaging related treatment, so this is a clinical book, then you can reach everybody. It's not like having a special machine which is so expensive and prohibitive. You have to go to the tertiary or quaternary institute to see it. You just have this in the next room and, and benefit from the, the, the enormous amount of things coming out of technology. There's one new, new invention where you're looking at strain and stress, which is how the muscle performs in the heart. And there's a whole organ, it's a separate organ made up of muscle, muscle heart bones. And you can see that and do it very quickly. It's not, it's user friendly and the ability to download the information back in a normal database of how normal hearts behave with age and with gender. So all, all these things are in you know, five seconds, as soon as you download. And the books that I've been involved with are expressive clinical applications, they're not very high tech, high tech safe. Things you can do and bring to the classroom, and anybody can learn how to do it with the same equipment. There's not any additional expenditure, doing some new things with some equipment which is already in existence.